Hey guys, welcome back. In my last video, I put a hypothetical scenario like what would happen if a pin, a paper pin that is traveling at the speed of light hits earth. And I got like few comments in that video. Basically, people do not agree to what I inferred specifically to my comment that if you were traveling at the speed of light for you, time and space does not that dimension does not exist so you could be at one instance you could be at andromeda galaxy and the other instance you could be on earth if now if you don't agree to this theory it's okay because it's all theoretical experimentally this could not be proved now however there is a pretty good video in youtube that explains this theory and i'm going to put the video link in the description please go ahead and watch it for this video we'll again go through an hypothetical scenario assuming that the speed of light became infinite so what would be the implications of it let's quickly recap our current understanding in our universe the speed of light denoted by letter c is considered the ultimate speed clocking in at approximately 299792 kilometers per second and for this video we'll assume that the speed of light is basically infinite so the first implication that would happen is instantaneous communication if you send a message to mars it will be delivered about in 20 minutes there they receive the message and then they're responding back so it will be about 40 minutes round trip time the first implication would be that this messaging or this communication would be instantaneous. Forget about Mars. Let's say if you wanted to send communication to the other side of the universe, to the other end, that communication will happen at an instant. This could have profound implication for communication. Now, the finite speed of light serves as the universe's speed limit in our current understanding of physics. If light were infinitely fast, there would be no upper limit on the speed at which object and information could travel. This could lead to a re-evaluation of many physical principles and open up new possibilities of travel and exploration. Now, the concept of time dilation, where time passes more slowly for objects in motion, would no longer be relevant. Now, traveling close to the speed of light currently allows for time dilation effect, potentially enabling time travels to the future. However, with an infinite speed of light, these time traveling possibilities could be altered or even eliminated. Observations of celestial objects such as redshift, you know, a measure of how much light has stretched as the universe expands, gravitational lensing, the light bends around a massive object and other phenomena related to finite speed of light would be different. Our understanding of the size, age and dynamics of the universe could be significantly revised. Now in our understanding, information could not travel faster than the speed of light, preserving the logical sequence of cause and effect. With infinite speed of light, the notion of causality might need to be re-examined, potentially leading to paradoxes or logical inconsistencies. Now, real-time exploration with infinite speed of light, delay in receiving signal at distance probe of telescopes would vanish. We could explore distant planets, galaxies in real time, receiving immediate feedback from spacecraft and observations without current communication lag. It will be like everything, everywhere, all at once. Now remember, the idea of infinite speed of light is just speculative. It's a fascinating concept to explore in thought experiments, but in reality, finite speed of light is crucial component to even existence of everything that we know. And there you have it a glimpse into this hypothetical scenario where speed of light is infinite. And if you manage to come to this part of the video, that means you are more likely to subscribe, comment and share. Please do that and I'll see you next time around. Bye-bye.